Hello and in today's video I'm going to be covering how to use the slip function on a PIC microcontroller. Now let's go over the hardware connections. I have the entire B port connected to LEDs, then a USB to serial connected to the UART of the PIC and then a button connected to the capture module with grounding resistors and then the LEDs are powered via a transistor with the, the B port pins connected to the base of the transistor and then a current limiting resistor. Now let's have a look at the data sheet. Now the PIC has three power states with your normal state as run where your CPU is on and where the peripherals are on. Then you have idle state where the CPU is off but the peripherals are still running. Then you have sleep mode with the CPU and the peripherals off. Now your run mode as stated in this data is typically around 11 microamps and then idle mode is 2.5 microamps and sleep mode being at 100 nanoamps. And then there's these two uh, depending on what your clock source is you have these the 900 nanoamp range when you're running off of timer oscillator 1 and then the 1.4 microamp typically if, if you run for the watchdog timer. Unfortunately I don't have the equipment to test these values if they are accurate. Now the first register we have to have a look at is the oscillator control register. Now in the oscillator control register we use all of these bits. The most important ones are your idle enable bit and then your internal oscillator block select bit. This will determine which type of sleep mode you go into. But for this example I'm going to use the internal oscillator block and idle in I'm going to show both modes for it. Like for say if your idle in is zero then it enters the deep sleep mode and then your idle one then it enters the sleep mode where your clock is off but your peripherals are still running in the background. Then we go to the section of selecting a power mode. The power modes highlighted here are according to the idle end bit of the oscillator control register and the SCS bit of the oscillator control register. Now across all the registers your sleep mode is global and then depending on your configuration you have these four different idle states. Your normal run state for the current configuration I have is going to be the RC run state with the CPU being clocked and the peripherals being clocked. Again for the current configuration the idle state will have the CPU off and then the peripherals being clocked. There we go further down. And then a description of the RC idle mode, the CPU is disabled but the peripherals are continued to being clocked from the internal oscillator block using the internal multiplexer. And here they state that the mode is entered by running the sleep instruction. This will show in, in code. And then exiting an idle sleep mode, we can exit the sleep mode in one of the following ways. The sleep mode can be exited with one of the, the following modes which is either by an interrupt, a hard reset or the watchdog timer being timed out. For this example I'm going to use the interrupt. Now here they describe the process of e exiting sleep mode via interrupt. Any interrupt can cause the device to exit sleep mode. Now this is subjective since if you're using a peripheral to exit sleep mode it needs to be in the idle state and not the deep sleep state. And here they just tell you you have to have the interrupt enable bit set otherwise you can't use otherwise it will not work. And here they say the exit sequence is started by a fla uh, by an interrupt flag being set. And here they just state you have to have your global interrupts enabled before you enter sleep mode if you want to exit via interrupt. I have tested this, the pick just goes into a hanged state where it does nothing. And then if you start to exit sleep mode there is a fixed delay between exiting sleep mode and code execution. Now the sleep is about 2 to 6 oscillator cycles but from what I can determine 
is this this is a fixed delay that's in the pick itself and you don't need to do it via software and then they describe how the watchdog timer is and exiting by a hard reset now let's have a look at the code okay now the code has a basic setup um, I just have these two macros for reference and then the two high and low priority interrupts then I have a print buffer to print out whatever I want and then a function to do running LEDs on the let B register so we're just going to have the LEDs flicker from uh, let B0 to let B7 and then repeat the process now here's the important bit which is the idle end bit when this idle end bit is set to 0 we enter deep sleep mode with the whole pick being off and then I set the oscillator to 8 megahertz. I set the the entire B port as output, set the B port as low, set the capture and compare pin as a input. So I'm going to use this only as a external interrupt. So basically the same as INT1 and 0. Then I have the UART initialized at 9600 board as per usual. Uh, the capture and compare module set as capture mode and then the timer setup which you can have a look at one of my previous videos and then the interrupt setups for priority on the, ca uh, the timer and capture timer 3 as low priority and capture as high priority and then I do the two enables for it and then the base uh, interrupt enables then I have a startup delay, printout to tell me my program has started. Then a variable, which counts the number of times the running LED code has run. Then I turn timer 3 on. And then in the infinite loop, I run the running LEDs code. I increment the sleep counter. I print out the current value of the sleep counter. And then if the sleep counter is equals to 2, turn let be off. Because when you enter sleep mode, it keeps the state of the current pins. So if you have one of the pins high, the LED will stay on. And if the LED stays on, it sort of defeats the purpose of having the pick in sleep mode. Because that LED actually draws, draws more current than the total of the whole pick. And then I set the sleep timer to zero and then I call the sleep function. Now in some cases of some microcontrollers, entering sleep mode actually powers down the RAM for even more power saving. So it might be actually necessary to store any important variables into the EEPROM or flash of the microcontroller if it's the case where it powers down the RAM. And then we enter sleep mode and then we have our two interrupts which actually do nothing but they're there to wake up the pick. Now I've pre-programmed the pick, so let's have a look at the code execution in the physical. Now the pick is currently in deep sleep mode. Now when I press the button, it will run twice and then re-enter sleep mode. And then we run it again. Now to enter idle mode instead of deep sleep mode, we change the idle end bit to 1. Now we quickly program the pick. Now as you can see, the pick is running continuously. Now what you don't see, which I'm displaying on the UART, is that the pick is actually running and entering sleep mode, but on every interrupt trigger of timer 3, it wakes up again and executes code. And that's a basic introduction to using sleep mode on PIC microcontrollers. Any hardware that I use will be linked down in the description. Code that I've written will be shared on my Git. A like, share, comment and subscription would be greatly appreciated. Thank you. Have a nice day.